Hi. Morning. Morning. I think you had a good day when you were sleeping. You had a good day while we were sleeping. Okay. I'm going to watch Bolt. You're going to go and watch Bolt. Okay. He's just got this new film and he loves it. And he wants to watch it. Okay. Good morning. It is 10.37 on Sunday the 21st of April. And it is time for Today in My Bujo. How are you? Are you having a good day? By the time you see this, it'll be tonight. Which is why I always say, are you having a good day? Because, you know, the day's finished now. <laughs> I know what I mean. Anyway. Are you having a good day? You know, I mean, what have you been doing? I did my night face cream and my hands before I went to bed. I've just been dancing around the kitchen to Starship, you know, we built the city on rock and roll and nothing's going to stop us now. I loved the film Mannequin when I was a kid. Do, do you remember that one with, um, what's the face from Sex and the City? Kim Cattrall. She was in that. And it's the only thing I've ever liked her in, uh, that and Star Trek. And um, oh, I, I loved that film when I was a kid. I just, you know, it was the ideal love story to me. <laughs> so we've just been dancing around to it in the kitchen. Like you do. Right, I did that, I did that. Steps. Didn't do a lot of steps in comparison to the past few days, but it always slacks off at the weekend. So we did 9,840. I just fell short of getting 10,000 yesterday. Tut at me. So today. I don't plan on doing a lot today because well I don't plan on doing a lot as in stuff that's in here like all my chores and that because I'm gonna get out in the garden and mow my freaking lawn and it's gonna take me most of the day because while I don't have a massive garden it is quite large and um, it's uh, uh, well let's just say it's um I could make hay yeah Right. Did that, did that, did that. And I put that little, it's a photo of me and my son waving each other from down the other end of the table. So, yeah. It's, I don't know, you know, I was talking to Wendy this morning about, she wants to start making videos and I said, you need to scrap videos to teach me how to do it because I have no idea this is the, the the limit of my I don't get junk journals because that just seems to be you fill it up with crap and there's nowhere to put anything you know but she she does scrapbooking and she journals in her scrapbooks and I don't I don't know how to do that it, it's mad you know I mean I'm quite creative but then I'm like I run into a brick wall with stuff like that so yeah anyway turn to the pen <coughs> Excuse me. To a lighter grey. Mm, I don't know how well that one shows up actually, come to think of it. Just quickly test it. Mm, it does. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it. Okay, so I'm also this afternoon. Hopefully, or tonight, I might do it tonight. Going to um, get my May plan with me up. Um, I did the cover on my live on Wednesday, which I'll link to up in the cards. But I need to do the insidey bit because I didn't get around to that. I sort of did the cover and then I did this week's or next week's setup. Excuse me. Ooh. High of 18 and a low of 11. Nice. And another day of sunshine. Hence, let's get the bloody lawn done. <coughs> Excuse me. While it's um nice. 
So, sunrise was 5.59. It's before 6am, folks. And sunset is 8 minutes past 8. Right, what have we got? A high of 18 and a low of 11. So while slightly cooler, the low is slightly warmer. If that makes sense. Excuse the noise in the background. My son's playing kettle. <clears throat> My face looks so shiny because I've just put my face cream on. <laughs> I have done my day face cream so far. Oh, you can see that, I think, yeah. I know there's one in here that is so incredibly light, it's like, whoa, we're going to do a card. <clears throat> I moved my cards to where I can get them on my trolley. <laughs> Which means I might actually use them a little bit more. I know I haven't done the past few days, but it's just been a bit mad. So I'm going to use the Enchanted Tarot, my new one. And I need a colour. Let's do orange. I don't do orange enough. Well, they're saying that. I think this is that weird one that looks orange and comes out red. Yeah, it is. Look. Right, that's it. 21st today. Now I've got to struggle to shuffle it in sections because it's just that little bit easier. And are, are you curious? I mean, do you want to know a little bit more about what I do and why I do it regarding the tarot? Do you want me to talk you through my process? It's not. Okay, I'm going to. You shuffle them until. This is how I do it, okay? And I'm probably going to get somebody to come along and go, oh, you're doing it wrong. But. This is what works for me. This is how I do it. Um, I shuffle them until I am happy with the amount that they've been shuffled. Now, this is a big deck, and I actually have trouble holding it. So, you know, I mean, I have before now actually tried to do it. Just gonna make sure I get it the right way around. Um, what I call casino style shuffling. And it's it's hard with this deck. I've I've done it with my other decks, but with this deck, it's really hard simply due to the size. But you know, so basically, you shuffle it until you are happy with how mixed up it is. You know, I mean, if you you can read reverse cards, reverse cards are usually a more negative reading of. The way it is upright some are you know some don't like the sun card for example that's very hard to get a negative reading on that because it is such a happy happy card um so some people like to put it on the desk and squirrel it about make a right mess of it i don't do that because i don't read upside down cards because the way i see it is that i can get a decent enough reading off of this without needing a shed load of negative cards and if you get a lot of negative cards, it looks depressing if you get a lot of reverse cards in the spread. And while that person might be having a sh shitty time in their life, see, I can't spread these out because they just won't go. Um, while that person might be having a bit of a crap time, actually seeing a shed load of negative cards or a shed load of reversed cards, and a lot of people know that reversed means it's a bad thing, um, is distressing. So I don't do it. So I read upright cards and you have to take in the whole story to figure out whether it's a good thing or a bad thing, if that makes sense. But I tend to only do singular readings. Um, I don't read for other people that often, mainly because there's not that many people here who are into it. Um, not only that, but it's, I mean, my friend Pip, she says to me, you should do this professionally, you should do this professionally. But um, the issue I have is that, um, I can't spin the story. I would just go, oh yeah, this means blah, 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 blah. It's probably connected to that, which means blah, 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 blah. And a reading is over in about five minutes. Whereas you go to other tarot readers and, and they'll charge you for 20 odd minutes to tell you the same fucking thing. It seems a bit wrong to me, but there you go. 
two of wands. Okay, now I'm going to show you my cheat sheets. If I can find the book. <laughs> This is my old file of facts. I love this book. So, what I did when I really, really got into it was I wrote out the meaning for each card. Okay, then I did these little sort of cheat type sheets. Okay, so the aces all tend to stand for new beginnings and opportunities. Pay attention to this, this is important. It's showing you potential and stuff like that. And then I wrote each suit as, as to what the ace of that particular suit meant, because it just seemed like a good idea. And it's, oh, I've got a flower stuck in my bujo. Um, you know, and I did that for all of them. And then I wrote down like a cheat sheet for each suit, okay? So, for example, this is ones. Well, you can tell it's passion straight away. Look at it. Look at the passion in which he's playing. You know, they're all happy. There's lots of emotion in this. Lots of it. You know, there's there's even a dancer in the background. The birds are flying. He's totally in the moment. Okay, he's he's really loving it. It's also ones also mean summer. Okay, so summer's coming. I mean, here in England, we're having, you know, an Indian summer where you just see my my weather sheets. Um, also means your career, it could mean fire, it could mean stuff happening quickly, okay, so this is all, you know, but it could also, if you've got a negative card, it could also mean that you're feeling a bit meaningless, you know, maybe life's getting away from you kind of thing. So then what I did was, I, th I would say, right, so I would slip back to my two page and I would check what it means under ones, contemplation and make a choice. Now, I don't think I've got anything to contemplate, but that is just a very, very rough guide for if I look at a card and I go, well, it's not speaking to me, I would look up the meaning. This one, however, is speaking to me. And um, what that says to me is party like it's 1999. <laughs> um, emotions tend to run quite high when it's hot. Um, but it's, it's a good time of year, you know? Enjoy yourself, have fun. I've had a stressful couple of years recently, what was one thing and another, and I think it's time that I let my hair down a little bit. And that's what this is personally, this is what I'm getting from it. You might get something completely different if you pull this. I think a lot of it does depend on your own personal mood at the time, if you're pulling for yourself, okay? Um, I mean, if, if, if you pulled this card, what do you see? What would you get from it, okay? So I put a time to let go of everything, let your hair down and relax a bit. Like I said, you might feel something totally different when you look at that card. And that's cool, because it is about interpretation. Okay? Right. One until eight this morning. Not a bad sleep, actually. Um, yeah, actually, I went out like a bloody light, so... I'd put my blanket on, even though I know it was, like, quite warm yesterday. Um, I was a bit achy by the time I went to bed. So, um... I like to have my electric blanket on, because the heat helps. And, um, oh, I'd put it on quite early. And I, it took me a little bit longer to get sort of the house shut down last night. You know, lock the doors and all that kind of crap. Um, before going to bed. <laughs> it was like getting into a pit of lava. It was lovely. <laughs> so, um, right. Nine, eight, four, one, four point one miles. I should have known that would be a bit hard to read that over there. Oh well. 
I have cleaned the loo. Gosh, is it Sunday already? It is. Wow. Um, laundry has been done. Like I say, I won't be getting a lot of chores done today because I need to get out and get that lawn mowed. Daryl can't run around out there because, you know, it's a mess. So I need to finish getting scores done. Um, I did actually start clearing the table off. Um, Wendy's been talking to me about tea dyeing paper to use. So I said I would give it a go, but I need to clear some space so that I can do it because it's, it, it needs space to do. Oh, I didn't do tangles yesterday, did I? Right. Nobody gave me any ideas on how to use my chocolate washi. So, mm, what are the prompts? Let's have a look at what the prompts are flowers wise. Then we'll have to go from there. Right. So, first prompt is a bunny. Oh, crap. And a lysianthus, whatever one of those is. Like, I know what one of those is. Lysianthus. Oh, it looks like a rose. Kind of. Oh, that's pretty. So it's it's a it's a type of rose, is it? Or well, it looks like a rose. I smudged over the stencil slightly and I'm trying to incorporate it into the number. Ugh, squid ink tomorrow, that shitty stuff went everywhere, didn't it last time? Okay, now what I'm thinking, she need that, is that I will go to about there with the 22. The trouble is, I mean, big washi is fab, but it's actually really hard to unroll it because it might tear. It is only paper after all, you know. Basically, I scored it with my knife very, very lightly because it's got a bit of a coating on. Um, did it a couple of times just to help break it, I suppose. A little bit of chocolate. <laughs> I don't know. It'll do. It was such a huge roll. I wasn't expecting it to be that big, although. I knew it was like a wide washi. I was, it was like, oh shit, actually that's a bit too big. Maybe next April, I can just do like the whole cover in this stuff. That looks so cool. Or at least like the top part of the cover. <laughs> Make it a chocolate for Easter. I like that, that looks cool. Right, um, that's about it for today, isn't it? I will be back for the evening edition. I've got a lawn to mow, um, a plan with me to film, some bits and bobs to do. So yeah, I hope you found um, my little explanation helpful and um, I will see you all this evening in the evening edition and um, I'll be able to show you May's setup. A link to the video. That'd be cool. Yeah. Okay. Have a good day. Um, and if you're mowing the lawn like me, try not to run the cable over. <laughs> Have a good day, guys. See you later. Bye.
Good evening, Planet YouTube. Welcome back to the Evening Edition. Have you had a good day? I have. It's not been too bad at all, actually. Um, we went outside and my son and I attacked the lawn with vigour. And uh, it looks a damn sight better. We're going to have to do more tomorrow because we literally sort of did like the longest setting on the lawnmower. So it's gone from being like this long to being this long. And now we want to put it on the shorter setting to make it like, you know, lawn length rather than ankle length. <laughs> and then I spent the afternoon getting May set up in um, my next book. Link up there, my cards. It's really hard to do that, you know. There, in there. Um, so, take a quick peek. If you don't want to go and watch the video, that's fine. Um, this is the book, I set this up in the live um, I did last week. Uh, we did all of this uh, with gelatos. Then the stars I did with somebody, I think it might have been Gerda, gave me the great idea to use a whiteout pen. You know, a Tipex if you're here in the UK, Tipex pen. Um, because I couldn't find anything that I really, that worked, that looked bright enough, you know. I've got a Posca paint pen, that didn't do bugger all. Um, I tried silver pens, gold pens, and while I got a little bit, I just, it wasn't bright enough. And she said, why don't you try a whiteout pen? Ah, brilliant idea. Then we got a bit mad and we went a bit embossing and I did May in holographic, but it doesn't, hasn't really showed up. Um, I can see it, but I don't know how well that actually shows up on camera. Then we did a little UFO, a little planet. Um, that's done in silver, this is gold, and then in black sparkly, and then a bit of fire in the gold. And then these three stars, four stars, sorry, are done with um, tinsel glitter, tinsel embossing powder, but the tinsel didn't really take to it too well, so it, but the white did, which I'm, you know, I was actually quite pleased at how the girl came out. So today I stuck this washi on the inside. This is a really nice wide washi that I got from AliExpress. I'm looking at it and I'm thinking it looks upside down in here, but tough because I had so much trouble getting this crappy thing down. I got quite annoyed with it. So there's my calendar. That's my weather calendar. And there was my tracker and I did a how-to when I was doing this in my um, in, in my video um, and I'm thinking I might actually edit that bit out and make a separate video as well for, so that people don't have to watch the whole thing if they don't want to um, or just on how I draw this tracker but I'm quite impressed with the paper I mean I don't know how well you can see it there there is a slight bit of shadowing and that is the title of the next page okay there is a slight bit of shadowing you can just see the calendar from the day before. But it's not huge. And I mean, if you use a Leutrum or even a Scribbles That Matter, you'd be used to ghosting, you know? So I'm not overly worried about it. We'll see how I feel once it's a bit fuller. And once it's a bit fuller, I might be like, oh, fucking hell, you know, I've had enough of this. But we'll see how it goes. My card of the day. My About Me spread. It's no different than April, really sleep steps um, the only thing I did change was my tracker I know it looks exactly the same doesn't it but I've changed some of the things I've got to do as you can see Wednesday is now a hell of a lot smaller Wednesdays are the day that I spend with my mum um, I take her out and about um, we, we go out and I don't normally get home until I go to pick Daryl up from preschool and I pick him up at 2.45 so I drop him off <laughs> you know, at 8.45, and then I go straight to my mother's house. Sometimes I come back here and I film today my bujo, and then I go, because today my bujo only takes about 20 minutes. Um, and then I go down there, I clean down there, and then we're out for the entire day, or, you know, I'm doing things for her. And then I don't get home until after I pick Daryl up. So that's a whole day gone. And to have chores to do as well is hard. Um, so yeah, I took, a lot of the chores out here but I didn't actually take a lot of stuff out it was stuff like checking my fridge and my cupboards for food that needed to be thrown away um, because Tuesdays I put the bins out but I noticed in the middle of the last month that I'd put check the cupboards and the fridge in Wednesday and I thought well, that's a bit stupid because I put the bin out Tuesday night so <laughs> yeah so I just literally moved those two things across 
Instead of doing a window every day, we're now going to do the windows once a month. Um, I'm going to try and make it that it's the first of every month that my son and I will do it. Um, the first is actually on Wednesday this month, which is a shit because as I just said, Wednesdays are the day that I spend with my mum. So it will either have to be the Tuesday, which I know is technically going to be the 30th of April, but I will count it in here as it being done in May because that, that's the day Daryl goes back to school. So what my thinking is, is not a school on Monday because here in the UK it's a bank holiday due to Easter. So we've got Easter on Monday and then on the Tuesday he goes back to school. So what I'm thinking is, is that I might say to my son, right, you know, I'm going to go out for the morning, I'll be home, lunchtime, let's get on, let's do these windows and then they're done for the whole month and I've got to worry about them again. Okay, so that was one of the other things I cut out. Um, I think that was really about it. And then that's it. And then I get started on my weeklies. I'm really, really looking forward to getting in here. I want to I wanna paint on it and I want to use my stamps and my gelatos and I want to see how it works. Do you know what I mean? I'm really looking forward to it. So um, I made a decision on how I'm going to do next week. Because um, I said I wasn't sure whether to put all of the week together into the next book or whether to put the two days in. I have a page there. I'm going to put my last two days in there and then the rest of the week is gonna go over in the May book. I will just, I will split the week up basically. I'm not sure how I'm gonna put it in, but that's how I'm gonna do it. It'll mean flicking through two books for a bit, but do you know what? it will mean April is all in one book, which is kind of how I wanted it. I wanted the whole year to be in one book, as you know. Um, it just didn't work out with the ring binder, but I'm loving this system, this is great. So, let me, yeah, let's, let's get the catch up on everything we've got to catch up on. So I didn't really do an awful lot it, of stuff in here because I've been busy. I've not had booze, fizzy or caffeine. I did have chips. I haven't crafted and I haven't done anything else on there yet. Okay. Um right. Space. I moved my pencil case and now it's in the wrong place. Yeah, then I can't get to anything. Right over there. Right. Um, dum 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 So we want that. Um, yeah, I'd say my mood is still hanging on in there. I guess really it won't go up and down when you're sort of at home doing the same thing every day. Uh, pain has maybe gone up just a wee bit, but then, you know, like I said, we mowed the lawn. My mum must have the majority of it. I helped. <laughs> so, you know, there we go. Um, can't fill that in yet because we haven't got to the end of that. So, Sunday, I have. I didn't change your beds. I might do that tomorrow because I haven't changed your beds for a few weeks. I haven't changed my bed. If I look at things, how disgusting am I? I might do like a major, major blitz tomorrow. Once I've done the lawn. Yeah, I haven't done anything else there. So I've changed Daryl's bed. I haven't changed my bed, which is the one that I tend to mark off. Um, I finished doing that. I have not synced my journals. So syncing my journals is basically two seconds. So there's my little A6. Um, this is the one that I carry about with me. I don't take this out and about. There's too much in here. And if my bag got stolen or I lost it, or like with the car fire, if I hadn't got my bag out and this had been in there, I'd be devastated. Do you know what I mean? The amount of work that I've put into it. So I've got this little A6 that I just make up a wee notebook and I carry this around me. Um, gosh. I have to make another one soon. I've got to draw some more months in here. I know that much. I've got enough for me. Come on, June and July. Wow. Hmm. 
okay, I'll have to do it, I'll have to do it in one. Anyway, um, syncing my journals basically means I check to make sure that everything is up to date. Okay, so and I check between these and my Google Calendar because my mum is on my Google Calendar and if she adds anything, it then comes up and I can see it without her having to constantly say, oh, but I told you about that appointment and we go, no, you didn't because we both have really shit memories and um, we're both right. She didn't tell me and she says she did. So there you go. And lovely because Google Calendar comes up with a dot. So I know then that I've got things to do. Like my dog has an appointment at 9.30 with the groomers on Tuesday, which is great. Right, I need to cancel the appointment for Elsa to see the vet on Tuesday. Gosh, that's going to be cutting it a bit fine, isn't it? She's supposed, she's supposed to be in... Oh, no, she's supposed to be in on Wednesday. Right. So if I put cancel Elsa vet. There you go. That's just making sure we are all up to date. And then I've got a nail appointment on the 30th, which is on the monthly, because I haven't yet done that week. And there we go. And then I can jump through to the following month. Uh, and that I have to do in my future log because I haven't yet set up any calendars for that. So I've got Isis is going in. On the 13th let's see and that's not in here so this is a good reason to actually double check so on the 13th come back at 9 30 she goes in for a bath and I don't have to write who it's for because that's why I color code so on the 21st that one's in and on the 30th my son has an appointment right and he is orange. Oh no, he is in there. Look, 1040 ride. Okay, that's brilliant. I don't tend to go much further ahead than that um, because it's only immediate stuff I tend to write down. So I'm not majorly, majorly worried about any more than that. Okay, so now we've done that, keep that out and uh, draw in a couple more calendars, I think. Right, so now that that is done, I can actually mark that off on the calendar itself as done and I try to do that every week just in case you know just in case because I know what I'm like dreadful and if it doesn't get written down immediately I forget this is why I write everything down because my brain is crap okay so there's my chocolate washi that I stuck down earlier on today and now I'm going to draw a bunny and uh, and uh, Lissy, whatever the hell it was, for the flower. Um, Lysianthus, which just looks like a rose to me. So I'm gonna draw that and a bunny, and then I've got a word. What are we, 21st of April, just Happy Easter, which I might not bother with, because again, I'm not religious and I don't do well, I do eat chocolate, but I ate all my chocolate a week ago. Anyway, <laughs> let's get on with it. It's a fat bunny. Oh no, it's holding it's it. It's holding an egg. Oh, <laughs> 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 oh well, that's that all fucking ruined, didn't it? <laughs> oh dear. 
My oh, poor Bonnie got a complex now. Thinks he's fat. That's right, Bonnie, you and me both, mate. Look, uh, 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 it was a quick glance. I was like, holy shit, that's a fat bunny. Oh, poor bunny. But now, now I know. He's got a complex. Like, I immediately, like, my brain corrected itself. <laughs> it like, that's, that's not a stomach, that's an egg. That's an egg, yes. Poor bunny. Don't worry, she didn't cruelly draw a fat bunny. <laughs> Should have done, it's an Easter bunny after all. <laughs> Only bugbear with the um, ink I'm using this week in my fountain pen is that it comes through so much easier than all the other inks. You know, this ink here. You know, I can paint on the other side of the purple, and I don't seem to get this issue. But, and this dark, again this dark blue, I can paint on the back of that and I don't really seem to get that issue. But this blue, nearly every fucking time, I get a little bit of paint come through which is a real shame. <laughs> ah, ah, there we go, never mind. Right, that's it. I can squeeze in a little bit just to say we made the lawn and I set up May's plan with me today. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, I always think this is only going to take like five minutes and then I look down and it's been like nearly 40 minutes. But how did the time go? But it's painting that tends to do it. So, <laughs> I love how the pages fall and so I've got paint all over now. Crinkly and it feels great. So, that's pretty much it i think oh i need a word for today what word can i have mm. lawn i think okay lawn so we are doing really really well we are now set up for so i've done dough face cream challenges no booze no fizzy no. challenges no booze, no fizzy, no caffeine. Uh, I have had chips. I haven't crafted, but I have done today's word. Yeah, that's good. Um, I've done that. I'll do that in the morning. I've done the little bit of that that you know I got done. Oh, actually, did I put dishwasher on this morning? No, it's last night, so I emptied it. That doesn't quite count, does it? Um, and that's it then. We're all up to date. So I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do next week. Um, uh, by next, I don't mean, you know, that week. I mean week 18. I'm just, yeah. I've got, I've got an idea of how I'm going to do it. So I will probably... sketch it up and I would do it in the live. Okie doke. Right, I'm gonna go. Um, thank you all so much for joining me this lovely day. Um, please feel free to give this video a thumbs up. And um, my rabbit looks deranged actually. <laughs> I've just noticed how deranged he looks. <laughs> I've got no idea how to fix it. <laughs> he looks absolutely off his face. <laughs> oh my goodness me, look at the state of it. It's because one pupil's bigger than the other. <laughs> he looks absolutely off his head. Oh, I'm not going to touch that because I'll just make it worse. <laughs> 
Oh, wow. I'm coming. <laughs> Please leave me a thumbs up. Oh dear, and if you leave me a comment, you will get a response, whether it's a like, a love, or a written comment. If you click the book, you'll be subscribed, and if you hit the bell, excuse me, you'll be notified when I upload new content, <laughs> YouTube willing. <laughs> but if it looks like that, I wouldn't bother. <laughs> oh dear, thank you so, so much for watching. I love all of you that come back every day. And I will see you in tomorrow's video. Take it easy, guys. Bye.